Careful out there. The park's a pretty dangerous place. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would give this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Of course it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka-Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! Search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Hi, Sierra. The formula would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. to Nuka-Cola Clear Production. I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Search carefully. Project Cobalt dropped quantum in our laps. So I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty war. penny. I'd rather mm -hmm. use the thugs to Just promote to quantum. See what it was like. We also have our lemon lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka Cola Clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. Amazing.
either sign off on Project Cobalt or I can walk right out that door. This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories and my beverage years and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities are going to be Just treated with the respect that they deserve. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the U.S. military. I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Fine. I want in on the military's Leap X program. It's hard to believe I'm what? really here. How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the program ever since its inception, and I have to say that I'm impressed. The ability to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine. This now that's something like that I didn't expect from history. the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal, then get me on the Leap X list, and I'll sign whatever you want. I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John. But the last thing I expected to hear is that you were afraid of death. If you know so much about Leap X, the then you know it's in its infancy, you know, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. Like. It isn't as easy as throwing a switch and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying to talk me out of it. We both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons that my beverage ears are the top organic wow. chemists in the world. This is amazing. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second, General. So you need to ask yourself, can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, Just fine. Look at this place. You want in on the Leapex program? You got yourself a deal. You know... Maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. It'd be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. It's hard to believe I'm really here. Look at that! Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. Hey, Sierra. This is so exciting! Hey. Yes, please take your components, sir. Hey. What what did you need? It's time for you to go. I wouldn't recommend has got to be past this door. Wow! What is this place? Let's take a closer look. is in here Sierra after you hmm now this looks interesting come on what on earth Wait. no it can't be that's John Caleb Bradburton <sighs> or at least it's his head Wow. Who... Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. <laughs> this is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy what are you doing here?
This whole thing is Sierra's idea. She came here to solve your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. In exchange for my assistance on a top-secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that would artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short-sightedness. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Are you really sure that you want to die? I've had plenty of time to think about it. You can't kill him! He's a great man! He invented Nuka-Cola! The best thing in the world! Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone, and staring at the same wall, decade after decade. Now please shut up, while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy. But there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. If he lives, I don't get the prototype ammo. What can you offer to make this worth my while? Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but, well, I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. So, have you made up your mind? What about Sierra's offer to keep you company? Wouldn't that help? I admit I'm flattered by her admiration, but I'm so tired in ways that words could not explain. I've lived far too long already, and I'm prepared to move on. I await your decision. I haven't decided yet. I see. I can only hope your sense of compassion compels you to do the right thing. I've been a prisoner long enough. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? 
Hi, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but... What's your decision? What about the secret Nuka-Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka-Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things? <laughs> that would be incredible. Please, tell me that you'll let him live. I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. You can't know how wonderful a real conversation can be until you've gone without one for a few hundred years. I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. Help yourself to anything that you think is useful. None of it means much to me anymore. I'm pleased to know that even now, the legacy of my work is still appreciated. Sierra has made that very clear to me. I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. Hey, Sierra. Guess I'll be heading home soon. Not much left for me here. This trip was totally worth it. I'm so glad I came here. Someday, I should write a book about all this. And before you ask, yes, you'll be a big part of the story. Sierra. That was quite an adventure, wasn't it? I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. Collection. 